It's Sunny and Finn's podcast. This week we're joined by special guest Gaming Mule to count down our top 10 games of 2016. What's up guys? Welcome to a special Games of the Year 2016 edition of the Sunny and Finn show. I'm Sunny, with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. And joining us this week is the Gaming Mule. Hello. Yeah. That's a guess. Look at us. Yeah. Check us out with guests. Right. <laughs> Mule, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you both? I'm good. How was your Christmas? It was really nice, thank you. It was really chilled out, you know. Yeah? yeah. Calm Christmas. Same here. Finn, how was yours? Yeah, mine's a bit the same, very calm. Drunk very all nice. over Christmas? Yeah, you know me, getting drunk everywhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, passing out at you know, 8 o'clock in the afternoon, Just evening. Whatever. falling in the door Christmas morning like a drunk Santa. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good times. Yeah. So today what we're going to do is we're going to run down our top 10 games of 2016 across all platforms, even those PC games Best for them PC, PC nerds, uh, like the gaming mule who's <laughs> a massive nerd. <laughs> um, there's no real rules. Remasters are allowed. Uh, there's no old barred. If yeah. the game came out this year, you're good. Yeah. If the game came out before this year, but was re-released this year on something else... That's also it's, fine. It's fine, yeah. We're letting <laughs> gaming mule off. Basically, we're <laughs> yeah, making much. these, we're letting these rules slide <laughs> just because of, uh, of gaming mule. Yeah, I think finish. otherwise we'd have to change it to like top five or something. Yeah. Like we'd have to, top, we'd have to change seven. it to top ten games of the last fifteen years. <laughs> so yeah. Mule could get ten games in there. <laughs> mule, as you are our guest, would you like to start us off or are you, um, are you still compiling your No, list? no, I'm, I'm there. Are you good to go? I've, I've put it in order. I'm good to go. Yeah. See, I've got mine in order, but, uh, I mean, I sort of did this last night, so I'm not sure if it's the order that I'm going to go with. I'll, I'll wing it, but I've got my 10 games and I've got some honorable mentions that I would like as well. But yeah, start us off. Let's go. Okay. Well, my number 10 is going to be seven days to die. And that is. Again, that's, that is a cheating one that I'm going with because it's been out on PC for ages in early access, but it was released on PlayStation 4, I believe, this year. It was. Um, Seven Days to Die is like a, basically a zombie survival game. It's okay. sort of, yeah, it's like open world and you have to craft items to survive and every kind of seven days you get attacked by a zombie horde and it gets progressively harder but it's a great game to play multiplayer kind of co-op uh, i play it with regularly with some friends and it's just just a fun game to play it's okay. not with your mates i've i've not played it but i have heard good things about it yeah i've seen a few uh, like best plays of it and stuff it's really fun yeah it's kind of i've been to play so friends. is it like <laughs> don't starve where you have to sort of prepare yourself for yeah like you have to kind of build a base make sure it's protected before the zombie horde gets there you can craft weapons and stuff like that but Crafting like guns can be quite difficult, but you've got like bows and arrows and axes and things like that. Of course, that's all you need. Yeah, and you've got to go like scavenging through, um, through to old towns and stuff like that, and you need to learn recipes. It's just, it's just a, okay. Like a that good sounds good. Survival. Yeah. It's actually going cheaper at the minute as well. I think it's in the PSN sale currently. Yeah, oh, is it? But yeah, details I think so, well. yeah. I think it's on sale at Steam at the minute, and on sale probably everywhere else. Pretty is much. it on Xbox One as well? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. It's like, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Seven days to die. Nice, nice start. Yeah. Finn? Um, so, uh, PlayStation VR came out this year. Oh. Uh, so I wanted to put a VR game on there, because I've enjoyed it quite a lot. And what I came up with was Batman Arkham VR. Uh, probably the best VR game I've played. Uh, Makes you feel like the Batman. Uh, definitely the coolest game I've played. Um, puzzles are cool, the Riddler challenge is fun. You know, throw bat rings around. It's just, it's just fun, you know? It's fun being Batman. <laughs> well, um, me and you both had the same number 10. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, I've gone for Batman Arkham VR as well. Great mindset. Um, <laughs> ex- exactly that. We've been hanging out too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but simply because I had to put it on there because of the wow factor. Yeah, that's it. Big wow that factor. it's like, it's given everybody, like, even when, like, Mule came over to try PlayStation VR and, like, that's what I showed, well, that's what I showed you, isn't it? Yeah, I was absolutely blown away by it. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, even though, like, when you first turned it on, you can see, like, the balcony, just, like, look over the balcony. Yeah. It's like, wow, that's so cool. When you're on top of the GCPD building, you know, you look around, you've got the bat symbol behind you and that sort of thing, and just the whole experience of it. It's like, especially if you've never tried VR before, I mean, even if you have, I think it's still an amazing experience. It's yeah. just... It's so difficult to put into words. I mean, I had to put it into my top ten as well, just simply because of how... I mean, you can get a good... 
I mean, it is a short experience, like the actual story, but you can get um, a decent amount of time out of it yeah. by doing the Riddler challenges and, you know, simply just looking around and being in awe of everything that's surrounding you, basically. Yeah, but it's, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I put Batman Arkham VR as my number 10 also. Awesome. I think the thing that blew me away the most about that was when you look down and you actually have to pick the batarang oh, yeah. from your belt and that's throw it. I was yeah. like, "This is I'm Batman! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how you use the term the Batman as well. The Batman. The Batman. Of course. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Um, is... So, yeah, number 10 for me and Finn, Batman Arkham VR. Excellent. Um, that will be the only similarity on this list, I'm Probably. sure, for me and Finn. Probably, <laughs> yeah. The, the lists are going to differ quite substantially, I would imagine. I think so. Between all three of us as well, so I think uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Not yeah. everyone can like the same games. If we sat here and we all reeled off the same top <laughs> ten, we'd be like, well, that's... well, that was a good ten-minute podcast. What <laughs> yeah. a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Mule, what have you got for number nine? Uh, number nine, I've again cheated once again, and yeah. I've gone with Skyrim Special Edition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> again, that came out 400 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you, you don't really need to explain Skyrim. Everyone's played Skyrim, and everyone, I think, everyone loves it. I mean, yeah. Skyrim has got to be probably one of my all-time favourite games, not just kind of the best game of this year. No. <laughs> and it was great for, particularly for PC players like myself, because we got it for free if we already had it. Sweet. That's good. So yeah. if we already had, I, I already had the enhanced, not the enhanced edition, sorry, the legendary edition. Mm-hmm. So I had all the DLC and everything. And then, so I got the special edition for free, which was great. Um, uh, to be fair, it's, it's fine me sitting here and mocking, but this year was actually my first experience with Skyrim when I picked up Remastered. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the t- 2016 was the first time I'd even played it properly. So, yeah. um, I really like it. I've probably played 10, 15 hours maybe. Uh, and I, I really love it. I think it's, it's excellent. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my, my Skyrim time on, play time on like Steam is like, like whatever, 100 hours, not 150 hours. <laughs> oh, <So> wow. <laughs> it's, 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 it's such a huge, massive game. You can play forever. Yeah, so and you can create so many different characters in it, so you can have diff- totally different styles of playthrough each time. And yeah, it's yeah. Just, just great. I love it. And what, I, what I like about it as well is there's no right or wrong way to play it. Yeah, exactly. You do, do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Something, something cool I saw someone do um, the other day, I didn't even know you could do. You could play like unarmed and do like a like a sneak attack. You can like suplex them, like a back German suplex kind of thing. I was like, well, that's so cool. What, on Skyrim? Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds ne- awesome. Next time I'm going to be a, a hand-to-hand guy. Stealthy. Do you, awesome. Mule, I need to ask, what kind of character do you go for at the beginning? I tend to always go for like a, an assassin, kind of a sneaky, like archer assassin. That's what I tend to what, go uh, with. What race do you go for? What race? Uh, I, I tend to go for wood elf because they're good archers. I think they get a bonus for archery. Yeah. Um, so that's why I always go for wood elves. Finn, what's your uh, race of choice? Um, I went for like a, I wanted to be like a mage. I've never been a mage before in like an Elder Scrolls game. So it was like a mage slash uh, bow and arrow kind of guy, kind of like a hybrid of lots of different things. But was it um, what kind of rate? What race was it? I can't remember. I think it was like a like a plain human kind of guy. A plain human. Yeah, boring odd human. Well, I went for the Argonian because they look cool. The lizard man. They're yes. like velociraptors. I was <laughs> like, yes, yeah, that's the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> it spoke to me in uh, in a way no other character in a video game has before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Finn, what have you got for number nine? Number nine. Um, I have the Last Guardian. Um, I want to put this on the list. I know you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your cup of tea. Um, so yeah, um, I want to put it on the list because it's definitely a highlight of the year for me. Um, but I couldn't get any, any higher than nine just because there are so many like control issues and the AI is in great. Um, the, the awe of it is very cool. Like the, the cool puzzles and like the interaction with uh, the boy and Trico is just awesome. Um, but yeah, frustrating, um, uh, controls and some of the puzzles are like, uh, you got to do that really. Like when you finally figure it out, it's like, oh, come on, that. Uh, but for the most part, I like it a lot. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I want, I want to put it somewhere on the list. But yeah, number nine. <sighs> um, <laughs> you know my feelings on The Last Guardian. Yeah, you I, it's, I just don't think it's a, a very well made game for the current generation. That's probably fair. It's, I think yeah. it just, I just think it, uh, it deserves to be better than what it is. Yeah, it's like seven years in the making. It needs to Yeah, it. just for the amount of time that it's been in development and all the hype surrounding it, um, I just think it should have been a better game. And I mean, I've only played just over an hour and I don't know if I'll go back to it yeah. because I, don't, I just don't think it's that good. Um, That's fair. It, it probably wouldn't even touch my top 20 of 2016. <laughs> and that's how, how highly 
I think of The Last Guardian. But okay, that's fair. Uh, again, that's each to their own, everyone has their own opinion. But, yeah, you know, if I did play more, maybe I would like it, but the first hour has not enticed me. And I think the first hour of a game should yeah, make first you important. want to play a game more. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. How about you? What's your number nine? A game that you didn't particularly like. Okay, oh god, I think I know what it's going to be. It's Inside. Nah. Boo. Yes. Um, Sucks. It's <laughs> 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 see, see how much <laughs> these lists are going to differ. Yeah. Uh, Inside, for me, I just thought it was... It's a it's a very simple game, um, but it's it's done in such a way that it's it's sort of complicated as well. Like yeah, the, the, the physics are, <laughs> like the physics are amazing. Um, the story that it's telling without telling a story in a silent way is, is really good. Um, and it's, because it, it, there's no, it doesn't explain anything. Mm-hmm. There's no talking or nothing in the game. Um, and it just tells a story as it's going along. Um, you know, it's still down to interpretation as to what you think that story is. I hate but that, I from, um, it's probably why you didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, for, from a, an artistic standpoint and from uh, a way the game looks and controls and the way the set pieces are set out, uh, I, I had to put it in there just, I just really, really enjoyed it. I yeah. think it's better than, um, Limbo. Uh, I enjoyed it more than Limbo. I think it's, um, just a more interesting game than Limbo. Uh, Limbo's yeah. not a bad game by any stretch. Yeah. God, but, um, no, I think, um, uh, Inside's really, really good. Now, I do highly recommend it. I know you didn't like it, but... <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm definitely in the minority on that because it's, it's got like, crazy good reviews. It's like perfect scores. Yeah, I mean... I'm saying, for me, I like to look at things from like a gameplay perspective and the gameplay in that game is just boring. <laughs> you walk right and push things. That's kind of it. I mean, the, the, there is different sort of elements to it. I mean, there's the secrets. that yeah, I mean, well, the, They are the source of the achievements slash trophies <laughs> in the game. If you don't find the secrets, you don't get the achievements or trophies. Yeah. Because it's not a progression-based trophy or achievement system. Uh, you have to find the secrets. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can see why, I can see why people liked it. It's just very... I don't know. I, I mean, understand. It's, I, it's a dark game. It's yeah. very dark. And the ending's so weird. The ending's, but yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but it's, uh, it's very weird. Yeah. I, I don't like it when games... Or movies or TV shows or anything else, leave it to like you to figure it out. It's like, no, don't let me figure it out. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's enough, happening. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why? Yeah. Um, but no, it's a it's better than me thing. It's a very thin thing. Oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> but I, I do, I highly recommend Inside. Finn it's, doesn't, but I do. This is. Sadly, I've not played it because, as you can probably tell from this list, I've not played any games this year. By the <laughs> of it. But I, from what I, I've seen videos of it, it just kind of looks like a carbon copy of Limbo to me. I mean, I know it's by the same developers. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is it? I take it it's basically the, like the same game, um, more or less. That's not, what it looks like from an out from somebody that's not played it. I kind of. don't think it is. Um, they are both different in their own ways. Yeah. I, I would say both both are absolutely worth playing. I, I mean, I'm yeah, I don't like, I my Limbo and I played that. So. Yeah. yeah, I liked Limbo. Limbo was good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's very cool. I would definitely say it's worth checking out. Yeah, the reviews will tell you that. Yeah, the reviews are <laughs> they're very high. Yeah, but, but Finn will say otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> basically, yeah. Um, Mule, you know, what have you got for number eight? Uh, for number eight, I have. I think this is my last cheat. <laughs> I think this is my last cheating one. Um, yeah, it is. It's uh, it's Rocket League. It's got to be on there. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all my cheating ones first because it's not. F- it, otherwise, I'd have Rocket League at number one probably because I absolutely <laughs> love that game. Yeah. Like um, Rocket League's on there because it was released this year on Xbox 360. Um, uh, Xbox sorry, Xbox One. one. <laughs> Back in time. Um, yeah. And well, that is the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Good point. Yeah, it was released on Xbox One this year. Yeah. yeah. Very recently, actually, as well. Yeah. So that's why I've cheated <laughs> and put that on there. And I I love Rocket League. In fact, I because I did have it on PlayStation. And then it was on sale in the, in the Steam Winter Sale, so I bought it again on uh, on Steam, and I forgot how much I love that game. It's so amazing. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I, d- I those of you that know me know that I don't really like football, or I'm not really a sporting kind of guy. Same. But playing that, it turns me into like a, a football hooligan because <laughs> I just end up shouting at all the teammates. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Pass the ball. It's me and and yeah, <laughs> I love it. Rocket League is um, just one of those rare games that that comes along every once in a while and just, no matter what genre of games you play, whether it be shooters or RPGs or anything, and even if you're not a sports fan like the two of you aren't, it, it it's turned everybody into uh, a sports fan, you know, yeah. indirectly. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because it is a sport, you know, the long and short of it is, it is a sports game. Yeah, pretty much. But Mm -hmm. it's just done in such a way and presented in such a way that it appeals to everybody. And I think that's the reason Rocket League probably has to be on this list, even though obviously it was released last year on PS4 and everywhere else. But, you know, Xbox got it this year. So again, because of the rules, it's fine. Me. But um, (laughs) yeah, I'm, I'm with you on Rocket League. It is absolutely outstanding. It's so much fun. Um, they keep adding stuff to it as well. Yeah. Free, it's like free updates. You got basketball in and out, the hockey and all that. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. I've not got around to playing the basketball or the hockey yet. It's cool. very it's cool. Very cool. Very very cool. But um, yeah, nothing wrong with having Rocket League in there because it should be on everybody's top ten lists for Forever. games of all time, maybe mm-hmm. and maybe um, especially games for the current generation. Yeah, mm. Finn, definitely. Right, my number eight is a game we know very well. It's Overcooked. Ah, it's <laughs> a fun, just a fun couch co-op game. Uh, great level design, level levels are excellent. Uh, simple but challenging. Uh, get their three stars. Can be a pain, but in a good way. It makes you want to come back for more. It certainly does. Um, it's so much fun. I love it. It's amazing. Um, Overcooked is really good. Uh, I haven't got it on my list, um, <laughs> but I'm going to talk about it a bit later on. Okay. Um, it's, I don't know what it, in fact, I'll just talk about it now. It's in my honourable mention, so I'm going to give an honourable mention to Overcooked in mine. But, okay. um, you're right, level design, everything, and it's just one of the most satisfying games to play. When you get them yeah. three stars, like we've been playing it a lot. Uh, we, I mean, we, we must have played hours into that game so far. <laughs> yeah, I can say. Just, when it? you get the three stars at the end of a level, you're like, you just feel like a, an overwhelming sense of achievement. <laughs> yeah. We did it, yeah. And it's yeah. Uh, a rarity these it's days to have a couch co op game. Yeah, exactly. It's just like everything's multiplayer and online now. Yeah, everything's. Yeah, I mean, t- the fact that it has no online functionality is strange to me. It is a bit weird. But, but I do like that it's couch, couch co-op and the fact that we've got so much fun out of it, I just think yeah, it's just so good and it deserves yeah. to be on there. Absolutely. I'm Thanks, yeah. absolutely itching to play that game. I've seen you guys playing it online, on live streams and whatnot, and I, I think it looks fantastic. I haven't played it yet. I'm hoping we'll play it later. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to play that. It looks great. It looks it's like a fantastic fun. game. Uh, and it, it just, it is. It's just, it really is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, for my number eight, uh, I was really um and annoying whether I was going to put this in here or not, but because of how highly I rate it and simply, I mean, we reviewed it, um, Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. Ah. Uh, I don't like to put annual releases in there, like FIFA and stuff like that, and WWE, which you never get in there anyway, because no. it's crap. Yep. Um, <laughs> but I had to put Pro Evolution Soccer 2017 in there just because of how good of a game it is. Um, and how much of an accurate representation of football it is on the pitch. It's it's a big improvement for the series. The series has sort of hit a bit of a speed bump over, you know, the last few years. Um but you know, it is progressively getting better and this is this is a really good game. It's probably gonna win the best sports game uh, awards across the board. Cool. Um and it, it thoroughly deserves it and it's very, very it's just a very good game. I can't um, really speak highly enough about it. Um, if you do play FIFA and look at Pro Evolution Soccer and be like, no, I don't want to play that. It looks terrible. Trust me when I tell you that it isn't. And this is from somebody who plays both religiously every single year. So, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer's my pick for not only football game of, uh, 2016, but sports game of 2016. And it's nice. really, really excellent. And it's a, an achievement, um, to say the least. Excellent. Good stuff. Mule, what do you have for number seven? Um, number seven is, I kind of, I had to put it on here because I played it to death when it came out and that's Pokemon Go. Nice. Even uh-huh. though the game yeah. itself is actually pretty shite. <laughs> um, like, I jumped on the hype train for it. I got it before it was even released in the UK. I did the old Australian yeah. region workaround. Yep, nice. <laughs> um, and, you know, it was just fun. And it, I think it, as a concept, as something um, different, I think it's a really good idea because it did get, like, people out and about and going out for walks and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. it kind of promotes healthiness. Although, if you've seen me, you know that I don't really care about that but <laughs> um, but it's no i just thought it was a it was something really different what really simple but really different as well and it's a, it's a lot of fun especially for nostalgia purposes if you're a oh, pokemon yeah. fan absolutely it's a huge phenomenon when it came out as well it's like everyone was playing it like people who don't care about pokemon it's like on the yeah. phone slim with pokemon yeah it's great it's, it's died down a lot now but at the time it's huge i think that's the reason it has to be on the list i mean i haven't put it on mine and even Same. crossed my mind to be yeah. honest but Same. um now you've said it i mean just for how massive it was and 
people who aren't gamers and say they don't play games were out playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a testament to how good the idea actually is. So good. You're going out searching for augmented reality Pokemon yes. in the real world. And, um, I think it, I, I mean, I got on the hype train. I did the same as you did the, uh, the Australian reach around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I, I still like my nephew loves it now. He's only five and it's introduced him to Pokemon and it makes, it's made him love Pokemon and stuff like that. That's very cool. Um, and it's so it, it has introduced Pokemon to a whole new generation of, of kids and not even sort of the new Pokemon that they're flying around in the 3DS games yeah. now, like the old Pokemon from, um, the oldie Pokemon. Yeah. The oldie 50. Pokemon from red and blue and yeah. yellow in the TV Classic. show and stuff. So very cool. Very cool idea. Great yes. game. Good stuff. Nice one to put on there, actually. Yeah, it's good. Deserves that recognition. Absolutely. And I couldn't think of anything else. Very <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next on there is Temple Run 3. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, is yeah. there a third Temple Run? I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, so my uh, number seven. It's a game. I'm very surprised it's on either of your lists. But it's a game called uh, Zero Time Dilemma on the PlayStation Vita and 3DS, I think as well as the third game in the Zero Escape series. Um, it's basically like escape rooms. You need to try and escape um, a room, basically. It's like little puzzles. Um, the great story is great. It's a great entry to the great trilogy. Uh, puzzles are great. Messes with, messes with your mind. Um, it's one or two like bullshit puzzles in there. It's like, really? I've got to do that? That's a stupid puzzle. I'll have to figure it out. Uh, but the excellent story makes up for it. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a nice wrap-up to a good uh, little series. And I enjoyed it very much. And it's nice platinum. So nice. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, yeah I game, can't yeah. say I've ever heard of it. Yeah, not surprised. It sounds like a very you game. Yeah. It, it is. It's, it's, it gets great. It's like, um, what do they call it? Like a res- visual novel slash puzzle game. Okay. If that's like, give it a genre. So that's on PlayStation Vita and Nintendo 3DS, is it? Yes. Okay. Very good. That sounds pretty good, actually. I like those sorts of games. I've mm-hmm. never heard of that myself. But... I think it's actually, I think it's on PC as well. I think it's the second and third one on PC. Oh, okay. Let's check it out. Might be something to check out. There yeah. you go. Look at this. Introducing <laughs> uh, Mule to, to games from the uh, from recent times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wanted to check out for you. Gaming Mule got a SNES for Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although that would be pretty awesome, actually. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, my number seven, is it? Mm-hmm. Seven. Um... Overwatch. Uh, yeah. Uh, I had to put it on there. Um, it's, it seemingly changed the game and the landscape of online multiplayer shooters. Yes. And for that reason alone, it has to be on there. I think it's great. The characters are very colorful. The maps are fucking awesome. Yep. Um, the shooting itself is brilliant. Uh, I do think, um, it could be more varied in, um, Game modes, perhaps. Either. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But yeah, I yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> so, uh, it is all sort of guide the truck to the other end of the map, isn't it? So yeah, that pretty much, like, isn't it? I mean, points and yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think that you know. I don't. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I haven't played it recently, um, so I don't know what updates have been and gone or whatever. But uh, I don't really see the harm in bit. They've been just standard shooter stuff in there, like yeah. team deathmatch, uh, capture the flag, that kind of. I kind of takes away from the point of the game. I guess. Oh yeah, I understand yeah. that, but I mean, um, I, I I don't think it's varied enough. Yeah, they've, to... they've added some stuff. Uh, like recently, they added like an elimination three v three. Oh really? Yeah, mm, it's no, pretty okay. cool. Yeah, there's also like just every now and again, I add like fun stuff. Like, there's a snowball fight event going on in a minute. Mm. It plays May and like pick up snow and. Well, that's another thing I like about <laughs> it. How Blizzard do keep updating it, and they will do. I mean, Jesus Christ, they've kept Diablo three going for God knows how many years now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I mean, and Overwatch is so massive. That they will keep that going as well. And I think, um, just because of that and the way that it's changed the game and how many people have played it, um, it has to be, uh, one of the games of the year. And it's probably going to top a lot of lists because I haven't plowed that many hours into it. And I don't think there's enough variation for me to keep going back to it. That's fair. Um, because I, you know, I'm, I'm very simple with my shooters. I like, uh, I like team deathmatch. I like free for all. I like domination, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's fair. I uh, but I, I think it, I, I think it's a fucking superb game, and yeah. I just think um, just for how revolutionary I think it it, it is. Uh, I don't think people realise how revolutionary it really is. Um, 
I think it, it, it's just one of the games of the year. It just is. It's a great game. Well, there will be more from it later. What's, yes, <laughs> there, there will be more from that later. But, uh, <laughs> what's everyone's uh, character of choice in uh, Overwatch? Is, has anyone got a fa- has everyone got a favorite character? Um, I like to pick and choose. Um, I think my favorite character plays Farah with like flying around rocket launcher. Yeah, um, it's just a lot of fun. It's probably my, my character I'm best at. If I had to pick one, um, I usually go for Diva. Diva, Diva. Uh, I usually go for Diva. I, I like the mech and yeah, um, cool. I like she's pretty useless out of it, but in it, it she's pretty formidable. So, yeah, cool. uh, yeah I go for Diva. I used to go for Soldier. 52, 76? 76. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think that's a very newbie character to pick because it's very... Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all just good. It's, 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 it's a stuff. safe character, I think. He is, is, yeah. is a generic shooter character. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So you start off with an assault rifle and that's... But then again, I go from the next one up from that and I always go with Bastion. So... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah. Yeah, great game. I love that game. Yeah. So great good. game. I look forward to hearing you pair... Literally jizz everywhere about it. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <running this> podcast. <laughs> I'm glad I've got a, uh, a windshield in front of my mind. <laughs> uh, uh, right, what are we up to now? Number six. Six. six yes. It is me now, isn't it? It is. Yes. Uh, for number six, I've gone with one which I'm, I'm betting isn't going to be on anybody's list, but that's Digimon Story Cyber oh, Sleuth. No. Mm. I can want to play that. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to play that too. I've good things. It is really good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's it's basically Pokemon for the PlayStation, and good to me. but yeah, it, <laughs> it's and the story is the story is pretty lackluster, to be honest with you. But it, it you, you it, sold me a Pokemon. I have to be honest. It, yeah, well, yeah, that's Pokemon it. I mean, you know, it was it came out way before Pokemon Sun and Moon did. Um, so I wanted like a new Pokemon game, but I didn't. I think at the time I didn't have a 3DS, so I just got Digimon Story, and I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I like the art style on it for the graphics, the cartoony art style. Like I said, the story isn't particularly good, but I love the gameplay on it, and just like just like Pokemon, it's just fun, like evolving your 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 monsters, and it, yeah, it's just a great game. It's one that I wanted to look at. I remember when you got it, and you said you should probably have a look at this. Yeah, uh, and I I haven't since, but I mean I, I imagine it's probably in the sale that's on at the minute. Probably. It has been on sale for quite reason. I think it's for about ten, fifteen quid or something. Mm. So okay. it's very reasonable, definitely worth that price. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, it is one I wanted to look at because I it, it did look. I was the same as you to be honest, but I was playing uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby at the time. Mm. Uh, I think that it came out, and uh, for that reason, I think that's why I didn't get it then. But I was after sort sort of something similar. Pokemon was starting to come back around again, like with the Pokemon Go hype and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I don't, I don't want to leave the house to find Pokemon. I'd <laughs> rather do it indoors. So uh, I was going to go for it and didn't. Um, but yeah, I think I might um, when I haven't got much else to play. This is, it's, it's done well, so it's, and, it, and it's getting a sequel. So uh, yeah, oh, I didn't know um, it was getting a sequel. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Good I'll times. definitely pick that up. Good times with Digimon fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that it's made a resurgence actually, because it just yeah. seemed to disappear off the face of the earth. Yeah. Did, yeah. Right, uh, so my turn. So uh, number six, what I've got is again. I'm sure we'll hear more later. Uh, Uncharted Four, uh, great end to a great series. Mm. Uh, characters are excellent. Gameplay is great, obviously. Um, cool new mechanics. You got that grappling hook, which you can like fly around on. Very cool. Uh, multiplayer is pretty good as well. Uh, and yeah, I won't say too much about it because I know uh, at least one of us will have it on later, <laughs> possibly at number one. So, uh, but yeah, Uncharted Four, good stuff. Best Very one in the series. Game. I'll talk about it later. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, the only reason I need a bit higher um, is because it's a lot of shooting dudes with guns. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and climbing around a lot. Yep. Which is fine. Um, but no, again, a lot of things from like a gameplay perspective, it's like it's a lot of the same thing over there again. I understand, especially when, you, when there's, there's well, four other yeah, uh, exactly. games that well, of Uncharted yeah. that are the same sort of thing. But I'm going to talk about it a bit more later on. But it is an excellent game, and it. Definitely deserves my list. Oh, for sure. I would probably, I'm probably going to get lynched for saying this, but I've never managed to get into the Uncharted series. So it's not going to be on my list, sadly. <laughs> it, I, I, I don't know what it is. I just never managed to get into it, but I know that everybody, everybody that plays Uncharted loves it. Yeah. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about the, the fourth one. But, uh, no, sadly. Not for me, because I don't play games. Even though I'm called Gaming Mule, <laughs> clearly I don't play any games anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Mule. Just, 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 yeah, just Mule. <laughs> okay. Mule. Hello, I'm Mule. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what my channel is actually about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink a can of cider. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Cider mule. Damn right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, number six for me um, is Ratchet and Clank. Nice. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it, it just is. Um, it's brought about mascot platforming. Mm-hmm. And in a, in a way that it's going to be difficult for another mascot platformer to top it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the graphics are beautiful. The characters are great. The story's funny. Um, all the mechanics in the game have done very, very well. There's like a, a weapon upgrade system, which is really good. Um, you know, the, the traversal's good. The com, the, the, the hand to hand combat, melee combat's good. It's just a very good game. And for the price yeah. that it was when it came out, um, which it was a budget title at less than thirty pounds. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. And it easily could have been um, a, a full price game. Yeah, and you can actually pick it up now for around ten pounds on on PSN. So Bargain. I would say that it's um, an experience that I think is a, one of the, an unmissable experience on PS4. Excellent. Uh, um, I, it's not only one of the best games of this year. I think it's one of the best games on PlayStation Four. Full stop. Nice. Um, yeah. So the only reason I didn't put this on my list is because I haven't played it. <laughs> it's one of my games, one many, many games I've bought and haven't played. Just sitting, sitting myself waiting for me to uh, make time for it. But yeah, it does look excellent. I'll be done and play it definitely next year at some point. For sure. Yeah, it's awesome. It's not It's not something I've played. <laughs> We've established with a lot of things so far. <laughs> <laughs> I see um, I, I've seen it. I mean, I never even played the original Ratchet and Clank, if I'm going to be brutal. Well, I didn't. I didn't. Um, it didn't interest me, really. But I think it's also good that it's kind of... Do you think it's one of the reasons why they decided to go with uh, remaking Crash Bandicoot? Um, Possibly. Maybe, I think... With Crash, and they've they've gone down the safe route with Crash by remastering the three that people like. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why people who um, like aren't really into games now, but played games then when Crash came out. You know, you see them sharing it on Facebook and stuff like that. So I think they've gone safe with Crash, and it m- might be to test the waters that if it sells, they'll go back in into that franchise. Mm. Um, I hope they do. <coughs> the voice. I hope they do. What yeah. I, was trying to say. <laughs> um, uh, I like. It. I'm using Crash. I like them three Crash games. Uh, yeah. The rest of them, I'm not really that bothered yeah, by. Yeah, I think they were made by someone else. I think their developers was... Like, it was Naughty Dog, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but then they went to someone else. Um, Activision. Activision, that was it, yeah. They own the IP. They oh. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. Cool oh. um, but with Ratchet & Clank, I mean, I didn't really play the old ones. Um, there was loads of them. I think that's probably... By the time that Ratchet & Clank popped up on my radar, there was just too many. And when I knew... Yeah. When I... <laughs> Then obviously when they said they were going to reboot this uh, to coincide with the, I believe to be terrible movie that came out. Yeah, the new great. Um, the new great. I thought I'll I'll play that because it looks glorious and it it really glorious. really is. Yes, definitely good. So if you've got a PlayStation Four, pick it up. I think in fact I think it's twelve pound thirty five if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber right now. Nice. Um, Bargain. Unless you're listening to this in 2019, in which case, yeah. um, it probably isn't that much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Mule. What are we up to now? Number, number five. five. Number five. Um, I've gone with uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon for number five. Mm. Cool. Um, haven't really put that many hours into it yet, even though it came out quite a while ago. Um, it's I, it, it's Pokemon. There's not really much else that you need to say. I mean, it's uh, as far as the 3DS goes, the, the graphics, I think, is about as good as it can be on the 3DS. Okay. Um, yeah. The... So the new Pokemon look pretty good. So I particularly like the three starter Pokemon. Um, I think cat they're great. Out. Yeah, Cat Dog Owl. <laughs> 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 um, and yeah, it, it's 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 great. They've sort of mixed things up a little bit with kind of redesigning some of the original Pokemon for the new. Is it the Aloha region? I think so. Yeah, Aloha. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's a great game. It's um, it's Pokemon. Yeah, don't really need to say anything Pokemon. else. Exactly. Fair enough. Uh, is it following the same? I mean, I haven't played it myself yet, and I, I will get around to it at some point. But um, does it follow the same sort of formula that the other ones? You, you start as a, a kid, you get you know given three Pokemon to choose from, you pick one, and then you go off in your adventure. Or it does, but it also it's also different because they don't have gyms in them anymore. I don't believe it's oh. um, like you've got. I think there's like four islands in this. Uh, there's like a, a a specific trainer that you have to defeat on each of the islands instead of Pokemon gyms. Or like I say, I haven't put that much hours into it. I haven't even gotten to like that first stage yet. But so far, I have really enjoyed it. For the good, amount. I've just been grinding really. To be honest, with you. I'm glad that it's good. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't expect any less. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be crap or anything like <laughs> exactly, that. Exactly, yes. It's um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's good. Uh, yeah. And I will definitely get around to playing it. Yeah, I'm personally, I've heard there's going to be a version on the Switch. That's what I heard, actually. So yeah. I might be yeah. waiting that, for that. Yeah. Um, Which would be awesome, to be honest. If be, I could play yeah. an actual Pokemon game on the TV. Yeah, it'd be so good. That would bad fucking rule. Yep. All <laughs> over that. That's what I wanted since I was like eight. Yeah, <laughs> one yeah they never give. I can't believe we've never had that. Know, it's crazy. We had like Pokemon XD or something on the GameCube, which is kind of half assed. Yeah, and garbage. Yeah. We've got, we got Digimon. I was going to say just, yeah, yeah, just, just, just get Digimon one. Cyber Sleuth, you'll be fine. <laughs> or pick up an N64 and get Pokemon Stadium. No, oh, yeah. Pokemon Stadium is so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one we do together is going to be the top ten N64 games <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the N64 fucking rules. Oh, I don't have one going up. Yeah. You didn't have one? No, I was just any guy. Have you got one now? Got one. No, I no. You've not got one now? Nope. Oh. I no. thought you did. Nope, not N64. Oh. Everything else. Got Dreamcast. Snares. Oh, Dreamcast <laughs> is so good. Dreamcast is excellent. So good. Oh, Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, my number five. <laughs> my number five is, uh, speaking of Pokemon, is World of Final Fantasy. Uh, mm. Very fun Pokemon style RPG. Uh, starring like Final Fantasy monsters, classic monsters. And got like your bombs, your iron giants and the... Uh, what not. Uh, your cameos from other Final Fantasy games, like a cloud and lightning and all that from all the games. Um, it's a bit repetitive. Um, one of the main, like, uh, monsters, Tama, is really annoying. Uh, but other than that, it's a really fun game. I had a lot of fun with it. And I need to get back to it because I've been distracted by other games. Uh, but yeah, fun stuff. I saw you play it, um, and I, I wanted to buy it based on just watching you play it, because I thought oh, yeah. it looks looks so nice. Yeah, it's adorable. It's, a, it's an adorable game. Yeah, and it looks really, really fun to play, but it's Final Fantasy XV was on its way out. And yeah, exactly. Thought, I'm not buying World of Final Fantasy, because I'll play about three hours of it and then get sucked into Final Fantasy XV. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it looks great. It looks yep. really, really good. Yep, yep. It's good stuff. I yeah. recommend it to anyone who's a fun, big Final Fantasy fan. I want to get down mid-15. Also <laughs> in the sale at the minute. Uh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah. What, Every, what? All the games that we bought this year are in the sale. Well, yeah. World of Final Fantasy is in the sale now. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm not going to pick that up because I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan as well. But uh, yeah. Again, probably for the same reasons as you, I didn't pick it up because Final Fantasy 15 yeah. was so close to coming mm-hmm. out. But it looks really nostalgic. Like it looks like it hits all the Final Fantasy nostalgic oh, like <laughs> for sure. buttons. Yeah, absolutely. Five for me. Um, I've gone for Firewatch. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, just because of the story. Uh, mainly for the story. Yeah. yeah. Just because I love the character interaction. The, the yeah. two main characters and the way they interact and like, even like from the way the story starts where you get, you get the, the guy's backstory and all that sort of thing. And, um, it's just a really nice, easy game to play. Um, you can put it on, you have your little walk around, do what you need to do and yeah. go back to the tower and follow the story and whatever. But, uh, it's very, very cool. I haven't played it since they updated it. Um, cause there's a few more bits you can do now. I think. It's actually, they've opened it up so you can just go walking around. Oh, interesting. Without having to be doing the story. I'm, yeah. And they've added some new trophies too. Yeah, I saw the trophies, yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a really excellent game and it looks great and it, it plays great. And the voice acting is um, right up there with the, some of the best I've ever heard, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. superb, the voice acting. Yes. Fire, Firewatch is on my list as well, so I won't really talk about it much more now, but yeah. Yeah, brilliant, fair brilliant, enough. Brilliant game. Superb yeah. game. Even though I like it, and I don't know that it's a kind it's of... very short game. experience, too. <laughs> it's very short, yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can pick it up really cheap. Um, so, definitely do. If you haven't played it, or you were sceptical and didn't know what it was, it's basically a walking simulator with a lovely story and great voice acting. So, uh, go check it out. It's great. Yeah. Um, before we get into our top fours, do you want to reel off some of your honourable mentions, Finn? Okay. <clears throat> Right, so Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. Um, Tell me this, I played a bit, it was excellent. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll definitely get back to it at some point. Um, but hey, yeah. Jensen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I never asked for this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Doom, again, five minutes I played a bit, excellent. Um, uh, Rational Blank, we'll talk about uh, XCOM 2, excellent game, very difficult. I'm terrible at it, I can't play it, sorry. Yep, same. Dive <laughs> uh, 2, again, played it very briefly, need to get back to it. Excellent game. Um, Paper Mario God of Splash, the God of Christmas. Um, I've been playing it. It's really a really cute, funny game. Uh, combat isn't the best, kind of, kind of like how uh, Sticker Star was, but just like the comedy and like the art style is excellent. Um, also, Dragon Quest Builders, play the demo. Um, it's on sale right now. We'll probably buy it. Um, the demo is excellent. It's, it's going to be a game I love. Um, 
And yeah, that's it for honorable mentions. Plus two. Uh, I'm going <laughs> for honorable mentions. Gears of War four. Oh, what yeah. I have played, it's excellent, mm. and I need to get back to it and finish it off because it's awesome. Yep. Cool. Um, cool. Uh, incoming. Overcooked. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Um, I have to give a sh- <laughs> uh, it's not in my top ten for a reason, but um, I have to give a shout out to it just because I do really like it, and for the hard time that it gets, it does undeserved. Uh, Battlefield One, uh, which I think is fucking excellent. Yep. Um, it nearly, really, nearly made my top ten, but um, it, I've not played enough of it for it to warrant being in there. And Overcooked. Excellent. You said it already. <laughs> uh, overcooked what? Oh, it's an overcooked. Overcooked twice. Overcooked it's, it's so, so good, good twice. that it's in there twice. I'm, I'm just losing track of uh, all the games. And Doom as well. Doom is excellent. And Deus Ex, the ones you played. I mean, I've got a million games to play and not enough time to play them. Yeah, that's so, my uh, number one problem right now. Yeah. <laughs> so many good games this year. So many. I think we've been spoiled, to be honest. We have. We have been spoiled. Yeah. Mule, any honourable mentions? Or I mean, I know we're scraping the barrel here with uh... no, not really. If I'm going to be honest, um, <laughs> um, I mean, I made a list of how, of all the new games that I played this year, and I came up with eleven, and one of them was No Man's Sky. <laughs> and I def- I think that you know, if we're going to give No Man's Sky an honourable mention, it should be for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the, the biggest disappointment of the year, I think, was definitely No Man's Sky. <laughs> but yet we, we put so many hours into it, so Finn even hours. got the platinum yeah, trophy I for it. I, I refused that. You got reason. the platinum trophy for it? I did, yeah. I, did. <laughs> I, did. I, did. I don't want to beat me. Like, I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't let this game defeat me. I'll have to beat it. I have to get under the tent to suck and say, yeah, I'm done with it, and now I'll play it again. It's over. Has, finished. Has anybody played it since the update? No. Nope. No, neither. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even on my PlayStation 4 anymore. I deleted it. Yeah, me too. And then the only, the only other thing really is, is going to be a game that I, I haven't played. I have played it, but I haven't played it. And that's Elite Dangerous Horizons, which mm-hmm. was the, the expansion that came out this year. I hope, I think it was this year that it came out. I hope it was. Um, it was recently gifted to me by, a fellow YouTuber and I haven't played it yet but I've played you know anybody that watches my channel knows how much I love Elite Dangerous so I just know that Elite Dangerous Horizons is going to be awesome as well coming out on PS4 finally very soon as well Mm, yeah Elite Dangerous it would be I would definitely recommend getting it I don't know if it'll work on VR on PlayStation (laughs) I mean it'd be great if it did because I know obviously you've got PlayStation VR yeah and in on the Oculus Rift it is amazing like it's mind blowing I love it so I definitely recommend it one more honourable mention for me, actually. Okay. Uh, Job Simulator oh, on yeah. PSVR. It's fucking awesome. So that. good. Yeah. Got the platinum trophy for it. It's the easiest platinum trophy you're ever likely to get. Uh, <laughs> nice. But it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, a few twitchy bits in there. A um, couple of tracking problems. But other than that, it was super. Yeah. Really funny game. Speaking of, um, I want to mention um, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Paired up for the first time quite recently. And it's just so much fun. Yeah. It's so, so cool. It's like on the, on the roller coaster kind of thing. Shooting targets. Shooting... Clown monsters. It's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So fun. Jump scares are amazing. Yep, excellent. So, so good. Loads of honourable mentions there. Well, from Finn and myself. <laughs> <at least>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mule, what's your number four on your 2016 gaming list? Uh, number four, I've gone with Doom for number Ooh, four nice. because it's fantastic. I mean, it's it's so... I find it extremely difficult. Um, <laughs> it's what, really what difficult hard. did you play on? Um, well, I... Um, What's the medium difficulty on it? You probably, it's probably normal. That's what you're using. Just normal. No, it's got, they've got fancy names. names. Yeah, Yeah. they do have fancy names. I can't remember. I I did go for the harder one (laughs) and then I just got my ass handed to me. So I had to bring the the, uh, difficulty down. Yeah. It's really hard. It's like Wolfenstein. The, um, yeah. The, 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 um, I mean, the graphics are fantastic. Yep. Uh, I absolutely love the graphics and the guns are awesome. It's, it's nostalgic. It's it's just a good game, mm. you know. Good first, solid, very solid first person shooter, and I love the uh, like the uh, the insta kill deaths that you uh, yeah. that you give them when they they're low on health. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a lot of fun. Awesome. It's a really good game. Uh, it's a really for me. It feels like a very old school, fast paced first person shooter. Yeah. And it's excellent. I do need to get back to it because I really was enjoying it when I was playing it. Yeah. Same. Um, when I've done Ratchet and Clank, that might be my next one. Cool. Good stuff. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm with you. It's fucking brilliant. And, uh, I do think it thoroughly deserves to be on, on game of the year lists. Um, it didn't make mine, but only because I haven't played enough of it. Yeah. But same it's, here. it's really, really good. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. My turn. Right. Uh, a game, I'm, again, be very surprised if it's on either of your lists. Um, 
It's Tokyo Mirage Sessions. That's my number one. Oh my god. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool uh, Wii U exclusive uh, JRPG about Japanese idols. It's very Japanese. Uh, but it's got a cool, cro- cool uh, crossover between Fire Emblem and uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Um, and yeah, words. it's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Japanese words. <laughs> Jap- just... Japan. 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 Japan again. Uh, Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the character's great. Um, story's weird, but cool. I love it. Um, yeah. They're probably one of the games I spent the most time on this year as well. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. I, I have heard you... I mean, you have spoke about it a lot when we were sort of doing the podcast throughout this year, so... <laughs> yeah. I've been um, on and off for a long time. We obviously a running joke <laughs> that uh, it's one of my favourite games, but <laughs> yeah. I've never played it. Yeah. The only reason I've heard of it is because of Finn. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but no, it's a really good game. I, if you're a fan of JRPGs, I recommend it, definitely. I love how diverse these lists are. Yeah, mm, seriously. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, number four for me is Hitman. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Um, I was not overly impressed by the beta that they brought out, uh, before the game came, before the first episode came out. Mm. And I was very skeptical about the episodic approach to it. Mm, yeah, but, uh, awesome. having <laughs> invested uh, a few hours into it now, I'm very much sold on it and I think it's excellent. Mm. Um, you, you could spend, Hours and hours just in one episode. Obviously, the map is still the same, yeah. but there's the the game just gives you different challenges to do, different targets, and they just keep adding to it. And it, it's really superb. Yeah. Um, I, I can't I I can't recommend it highly enough to be honest. Because uh, again, that's another one that's in the sale at the minute, and you yeah. get a hell of a lot of hours gaming for a very good price, and it's mm-hmm. um it's very very impressive. Cool. And I didn't think it would make my list, but having played it quite a lot recently, I've, um, it, I just I had to put it in there because it's. Um, I think it's exceeded a lot of people's expectations, oh, yeah, especially sure. from uh, the episodic standpoint, where people were like, "Well, this is Hitman; it should just be a full game." Yeah. But the way they've approached it, and the way that they have added the content to the levels, um, the way they keep doing it, I just think it's a. a I think it's a, a bit of a, a groundbreaker. Yeah, it's so cool. Nobody expected this game to be good. <laughs> when they announced the episodic and release thing, the people, and they, nobody thought it was a good idea. It's like, oh, it's a terrible, ruining games, uh, blah, blah, blah. But it worked out so much better than anyone could have thought. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing more games like this. And I um, think Hitman will carry on like this as well. I don't think we'll yeah. see another full Hitman game. I think, I yeah. mean, they, they've labeled it as season one. Yeah, so, so I two. fully <laughs> anticipate that season two is coming. Yeah. I think based on that, what you've said, then I think I'll definitely have to pick that up because I'm a massive Hitman fan and, I, but I didn't pick this one up because I didn't, I wasn't sure about the episodic kind of format to it. Um, but I trust your word on it. <laughs> and I think I'll definitely pick it up now because I love Hitman. Hitman's great. Definitely do. It's, it's just like, I mean, I've, uh, I've, I've been putting a lot of hours into the Paris one. Oh yeah. And there's, it's just cool how there's like different opportunities and you can track them. Yeah, yeah. And so in, it will sort of guide you around and, you know, he walks down the catwalk as this model yeah. that you've, oh, yeah. uh, cause you, uh, you know, you look exactly like this model, which is a good coincidence. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he, it's just really good how the whole thing fits together and I, it's really, really good. It's, it's easily my favorite Hitman. Cool. Like easily. Wow. It's not even a contest. It's, it's very, very good. Yeah, Hitman, Hitman, it's always been a game of like, am I from afar? I'm same. Not, yeah, I've never yeah. really been good at them. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's exactly the same with me, but. <laughs> yeah, but the new ones look really cool, and yeah, I'd, I'd like to play it next year at some point. They've made it accessible for, for people like us as well, who it have is. sort of <laughs> looked at it from afar and thought, I really want to play that game, but I know I'll be crap at it, so it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> they, they, they've made it accessible for people who have played all of them, and are good at them, and for people like, uh, you and I who will be just terrible at them yeah um, because the word stealth isn't in my dictionary I like to yeah. shoot people yeah if so you, <laughs> if you watch my uh, Mel Gates on the 5 videos uh, now on our channel <clears throat> uh, <laughs> youtube.com <laughs> forward slash Indian film play that's the one um, you'd see how, how I uh, approach stealth in that <laughs> yeah I'm not very stealthy but I, I I recommend this I think it's excellent oh yes good stuff so Mule if you like Hitman you'll love this I'll definitely pick that up then definitely I can add it to my games that I've not played in Good 2016. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, so we're up to number three now, aren't we? We are, top three. Uh, so my number three is Final Fantasy XV. Oh, snap. 
Uh, we. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the reason that I like Final, I, I really, I'm really enjoying Final Fantasy 15. Um, and I think that's mainly down to the fact that I was very pleasantly surprised by it because ever since Final Fantasy 13, I've been really skeptical about Final mm-hmm. Fantasy games because for me, I know that you disagree, but <laughs> for me, Final Fantasy 13 was like the biggest disappointment ever. I think in gaming for me, yeah, I was so yeah, looking yeah. forward to it and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. So I wasn't, I wasn't even sure if I was going to pick up Final Fantasy 15 until uh, maybe it came down in price or I saw more reviews, but I decided to bite the bullet and I got it and I've been really pleasantly surprised by it. I think that the, I think that the battle system is really good because that's the thing I was most worried about, I think, um, with it being kind of, um, real time. Mm. But oh, I, th- I think the battle system is fantastic. I like the open world setting. The graphics are fantastic, but graphics in Square Enix games are always fantastic. Yep. And I can't wait to play more of it. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, spoil this, but it's also on my list a bit later. But, uh, yeah, I agree with everything you just said. Pretty much. <laughs> it's not on my list. Shocked. But, uh, I do really like it. I think it's excellent. Um, it's like every, like most other games, it's not on my list because I haven't put enough time into it. Uh, but what I have played, I really like. Um, it just seems like there's a lot, there's just a lot to do and you can approach it seemingly however you like and whenever you like, which, yeah. uh, I'm a fan of. And I, I will go back to it. Uh, but I want to get some of the, the, uh, linear stuff out of the way, like Ratchet and Clank, like Doom. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I can start sort of diving into uh, the likes of Final Fantasy but I think it's a great game and I'm not surprised it's on both of your lists uh, and I'm sure we'll hear more about it from Finn a little bit later on you just might <laughs> <laughs> uh, right so my number three uh, is Dark Souls 3 um, and yeah it's Dark Souls <laughs> and it's the best one yet in my opinion um, I still think Bloodborne is slightly better just the last time Bloodborne is more my, kind of my thing but Dark Souls 3 is excellent gameplay is amazing uh, new weapon attacks you can do are cool. Like you held L2 and do fancy stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, new bosses are excellent. Atmosphere is just incredible. Amazing. Uh, haven't played the DLC yet, but I've heard good things. So, uh, yeah, Dark Souls. Woo. Uh, I like it. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at it uh, as a, a Souls noob. I love Bloodborne. Double Declan. Uh, and that's what made me pick up Dark Souls 3. Um, I really like it. Give me the... F- one of the few wow moments of the year in gaming when I saw oh, yeah. a, a dragon atop a castle. Oh yeah, it's very good. And I, I, I didn't notice it. I was just beating some skeleton men up and then I looked up and there's this dragon and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> so I was like, wow, that looks amazing. Yeah. Um, it's really, really good. Yeah, um, I love it. It's not on my list again, but I, I'm not very good at it, but I, I do, I, I admire it. Uh, I admire that series for, uh, it, how ambitious it is. Yeah, it's so good. Just how how it wants to break gamers' spirits, <laughs> yeah, um, and controllers and yeah. TVs and anything else that they can break, <laughs> they will do it. But it's uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very cool series. Yeah, I think Bloodborne's better. I do, um, but I think um, Bloodborne's one of those special games. Yeah, it's one. Of the, yeah, one of the like main games of like the generation. I guess. I think yeah. I mean, we're. I mean, we'll probably do Bloodborne. this again when this generation's on its ass and uh, <laughs> we're about to approach PlayStation Five. This is, yeah. And like, I think Bloodborne is one of the games that defines this generation of gaming. Yeah, I think so too. I completely agree. I've not played. I've not played Dark Souls Three, yeah. but it's something that is on my list of things that I want to pick <laughs> up, and that is solely bla- blazed, blazed, solely based on like you say Bloodborne because I absolutely love Bloodborne as you well you can spend a fortune in the sale that's on at the minute <laughs> yeah, <Good. seriously. laughs> I already have <laughs> <laughs> um, alright for me and this is a shock one because okay. at the beginning of the year um, this was never I wasn't even going to play this oh. um, Watch Dogs 2 oh. is oh, okay. my th- number 3 Excellent. Um, I think because I was so surprised by it uh, yeah. I hated the first one <laughs> It, um, I don't, it, the first one came with so much hype and expectation. Yeah. And it let down on every single, um, every single point that it could. Yeah. Pretty it was much. Drab. It was, n- there was no color in it. And the main character was a moaning little bitch. <laughs> um, and it just wasn't a good game. It just like, it was too sluggish. It felt like a, it felt like a PS3 game, an early PS3 game. Yeah. Um, but this is like, tenfold better it's colourful uh, the characters are funny the story's funny uh, the hacking is a lot more a lot more fun 
you got a, a little RC car with um, hacking abilities and you got That's a good. drone so you can sort of scout the areas and stuff like that. There's side quests like like taxi missions where you can pick people up and there's different fun things to do. Like there's uh, a girl who is a like a stunt YouTuber. Right. So while you're driving her in the taxi, you're doing stunts and she's filming it for her YouTube channel. Nice. Okay. Um, cool. There's like there's all sorts of different ones. Getting pregnant women to hospital and all this, all all, <laughs> sort, all, all manner of things that are in there for the ta- taxi driver missions. There's um, like locations throughout uh, San Francisco to take selfies next to, and you get experience points based on on that. And there's like 50 odd of them to do, and they're all over the world. And it's just a fun, vibrant world to, to, to play around in. And I, I, that's exactly what I've been doing with it is playing around. I have barely touched the story because yeah. of how much fun I'm having just driving around and upgrading myself and just really, really enjoying what Ubisoft have done with this. And the worst of it is because of the first game, it's not going to sell well. Yeah. And that's a real shame because, uh, and it could probably kill the series, just like Titanfall will yeah, kill Titan, the series. Probably. Well, um, well. And it's a real shame because it's it's very very good and one that I think if 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 you even if you hated the first one and swore down that you wouldn't go for this, uh, but if you like GTA, your Sleeping Dogs, and all, all them other sort of uh, fun action open world games, this I highly recommend because yeah. it's just because of how much fun it actually is. It's one thing to get around to as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's really fun. Yeah, like like you say, I mean, the reason that I didn't pick it up is because I, the first one was so awful. Yes, yeah, that's the reason I didn't I didn't pick up the second one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's one that's a lot of fun. Well, well, I've seen a bit. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, it really, really is. Out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, at the beginning of this year, I wasn't even going to pick it up and play it. I was just not interested at all, or whenever it was announced. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not interested in that because the first one is terrible. Yeah, but I'm glad they've turned it around. Hopefully yeah, they have turned it around. And I hope it's not the end of Watch Dogs because yeah, that'd be a shame. It is very good. Um, hopefully sales and stuff will uh, boost its sales, I guess. <laughs> yeah. but, um, we'll see. But yeah, I, I I really do love it. I think it's excellent. Cool. So we're now down to the, the, the last two the on the list, the big two on the list. <laughs> Mion, what have you got at number two? Um, it was quite difficult picking uh, my last two, actually, because I, I, I love them kind of equally as much but I've, for, for number two I've gone with something that we've already mentioned that's Overwatch oh that's my number two as well um, but there we go there we go <laughs> this is it <laughs> I'll just take a back seat <laughs> um, yeah we've already discussed Overwatch it's a great game it's got so such good. good character to it the style is fantastic the gameplay is fantastic and you can have such a good laugh on it especially if you're playing it like cooperatively with your mates it's it's just a great, solid game, and I wouldn't expect anything less from Blizzard. Yeah, easily the best online shooter I've ever, I've ever played. Mm. I'm not usually an industrious kind of guy. Uh, the characters and the art style is so good, so so good. And like every, every character is different. You don't get two characters that are like the same. Every character is unique and difficult, different to play. And yeah, I love it to bits. And play it, play it for many, many more years to come, <laughs> for sure. Most definitely, uh, they'll keep updating it for years to come as yeah, well. And I absolutely. think that's the. Uh, it's like, like I touched on earlier on, because of the art style and the characters, it has appealed to people who don't play FPS, like, like yourself. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and I think Blizzard just deserve all the praise that they've had for this game because of that. Um, yeah, it's, it really is truly excellent. I, I pro- probably should play more of it, but yeah. with the stack of games that I have, <laughs> yeah. um, it's just impossible for me to get back around <laughs> to, but I, maybe I will at some point. I mean, if it's going to keep going for years and years, I'll just play it then. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get around to it. It'll be on my games of the year 2018. Maybe I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like level 600. And you'll be like level 12. And yeah, like, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm not level 12. Yeah, very much on it. But I, I really do love it. I think it's excellent. It's so good. Yeah, one of the best. So, oh yeah, that was both of yours. Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, my number two as well. Forza Horizon Three is my number two. Okay. Um, I said it on the podcast months ago that it's as close to gaming perfection as it gets, and I still truly believe that now. Um, it looks phenomenal. Um, it plays, I mean, for me, Forza has eclipsed, e- eclipsed Gran Turismo in a way that nobody ever thought Gran Turismo would be eclipsed. Yeah. Right. And it's just a better game tenfold. And it plays like a Forza game, but it's a big open world sandbox of fun things, stunts, uh, races against trains and helicopters and hot air balloons and the, the, the in-game equivalent of the red arrows and nice. stuff like that. And, even if you're not a car person, because I'm not a car person, uh, even though Finn drives a car, he's not a car person. <laughs> and it's it's just one of those rare games that is just so much fun to play, you, you forget the genre. I think 
again, sort of like Overwatch, I think if people played Forza Horizon 3 who aren't racing people, they would very much enjoy it. Uh, yeah. I know you didn't like it because I, yeah, you actually okay. have to drive to places, which <laughs> is fucking mind-blowing <laughs> in, in an open-world driving game. But I, I might have been a bit too harsh on Forza. I'll give it another try at some point. Um, but I, but love, I, I love the series. I think it's just a really good series because you have your serious Forza games like, I mean, Forza Horizon, sorry, Forza... Six came out last year, oh, yeah. and as good as it is, it it can be boring and long. But this, I mean, you can put so many hours into it. You just lose time to the game. Like driving to your next destination is still fun because of just how well it controls and how well it looks and the sounds and stuff are just. It's just a, a really excellent game, and it's easily the best Xbox One exclusive uh, that came out this year. Yeah, I would agree with that. Well, I haven't played Gears of War yet, but. Yeah, I didn't know it was an Xbox One exclusive. You can get it on PC. Oh well. yeah, PC of course. Yeah, uh, course. right. Because I, I, fun, it's funny you should mention it because I was actually watching a video on YouTube of <coughs> Forza this morning. For, was it Forza Three Horizon? Forza Horizon Three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was watching a video on that earlier, and I thought this looks really good. Yeah, because I'm more, I'm more of a Gran Turismo kind of guy. I love the Gran Turismo games, but obviously they haven't released one in forever. There's one coming they, out. Uh, it's been delayed, unsurprisingly. Yeah. I mean, that um, they they reckon it's going to come out in 2017. Um, it I won't. don't think it is. Nah, really? Of course it won't. <laughs> it was supposed to come out in November. Yeah. And they, they delayed it, and I was just like, that's not coming out. Yeah. That's not coming out next year. They no delayed way. like last minute as well. It was like, it's coming out, and suddenly Yeah, like, really? You can like pre order it on the PS store and everything. Yeah. yeah. Nope, delayed, and then we don't know when it's coming out. So. Yeah, it's yeah, coming never. out when it comes out, so fuck you. So, yeah. <laughs> or I will just go play Forza instead, then. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Forza Horizon 3 is, um, is, is, it's special. Um, and if you're not a racing fan, like I said, you should still go and play it because uh, it is a very, very good game. Cool. Hmm. There you go. Right. Brings us to our number ones. Number one. Number ones. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've gone for one which has already been mentioned. Uh, my number one's Firewatch. Yeah. I absolutely loved Firewatch. I think it was, really was an achievement for, uh, I can't remember the name of the developer now off the top of my head. That, um, um, I'll find oh. out. It's, but, uh, yeah, no, the, I mean, the style of it was fantastic. The voice acting on it was superb. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I loved the story because it was. Campo Santo. That's it. Campo yeah. Santo. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, I, the story was fantastic because you just didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and the interaction between, um, yourself and the, and the woman on the other end of the mic, uh, of the walkie talkie was fantastic. And I liked how short it was because, Game like story based games these st- these days are so big. I mean, yeah. um, like for example, Metal Gear Solid. How they've changed that. I mean, they've made that into such a big game now that the the story gets kind of lost in the game. So I think it's yeah. good every now and then to have a short game with a really good solid story and excellent gameplay and just kind of I think I completed it in one night I think because I, I stayed I stayed up till silly o'clock in the morning when it was finally on the PlayStation store and then I just played through it in one night it was great I loved it brilliant game awesome yeah I think um, just the emotional resonance that you get with the two main characters as you're playing through the game um, it's just it's, it's it's one of them unique experiences that you don't get and you are right there's too many um, big story characters Story based games now that are just convoluted with so many different ele- elements of not, like Metal Gear Solid is ridiculous. Metal Gear Solid 5 is crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, but you know, games, it's nice to have a short experience that you can actually get emotionally invested in. And Firewatch is, is definitely that. Um, yeah, definitely. It's, a, it's a real achievement. Great looking game. Like I said earlier on, it's, it's very, very good. Yeah. Guess them. Um, right. It's my number one. Surprising nobody. <laughs> so of course. No Man's Sky, the best game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, sorry, No Man's Sky. My favorite game is Final Fantasy 15. Of course it is. Um, it's 10 years in the making. Um, it hasn't disappointed it at all. As, as we were saying, combat's excellent. Uh, character interaction is amazing. Uh, and it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's so good. It's so, so good. It's not the fuck praise I can, uh, give Final Fantasy 15. Um, just even like driving your car, listening to like classic Final Fantasy soundtracks. Mm, yeah. Um, just chilling, listening to like Final Fantasy Nine battle music or something, <laughs> or like world music. It's so good. I'm um, happy that you're loving it because it is a long time coming, and we <laughs> were sort of uh, approaching the release of it and think you know we were sort of wondering if it was going to be good or because <laughs> yeah. they delayed it again, and we were like, oh, okay. I had faith. 
I played this episode this game. I had faith that it's going to be good. I'm glad your faith um, has paid off. Yeah, I, yes. I'm. I'm. I'm really glad it has. And I thought that might be your number one of the year. Yeah, um, well deserved. Um, I've still barely scratched the surface. Uh, I played over level because I've been doing some side quests and whatnot. I think I did the main story quest. My enemies are like half my level. <laughs> I've been <laughs> leveling up so much doing side stuff. Um, Fair enough. But I love it. It's so good. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen the film? Actually, I have actually. Yeah, it's good. It's I, I liked okay, it. Yeah. Have you seen the film? What do you think? I tell that as a. <laughs> oh, I was going to say a no. Though. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, you no, haven't no, seen no, it. No, you should watch it. It's good. King's right, yeah. King's Glaive. Yeah. yeah, King's Glaive. It was actually good. I was surprisingly. I thought it was really good. Yeah. And I think it helps the story if you're not that far into the game. We actually had this conversation on uh, oh, yeah. last week's podcast. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> About um, how um, chapter 13 is apparently a bit uh, crappy because it doesn't... It doesn't explain all the Things start to get lost. Yeah. And people were like, well, um, if you watch this and read the graphic novel or whatever, <laughs> it sort of explains it. And I said, well... I want, if I'm paying £60 for a game, I want the fucking story in the <laughs> game. I don't want to have to go and watch the yeah, film or read to. the graphic novel. I don't want to do that. I want to, I want the story in the, in the game. Yeah, I do agree with that. I agree with that. But that being said, did you play Final Fantasy 13? <laughs> uh, I haven't played any Final Fantasies apart from Final Fantasy 7. In Final Fantasy 13, you had to read the story from the menu. The, the story <laughs> wasn't given to you and it wasn't like acted <laughs> out or anything like that. You had to read everything. There was like pages of like, Codex. Was it the Codex or something? Oh, and, oh, God. We didn't have to read it. But if you didn't <laughs> read it, you didn't have a clue what was going on. I think you sound like the only person on the planet <laughs> Earth who thought Final Fantasy XIII was good. It was fine. Because everyone else <laughs> says it's garbage. Uh, it's, it's, I can see this is like Inside all over, but the, the opposite, <laughs> the opposite of it. Yeah. Um, Inside's shit. Oh, everyone else thinks it's amazing. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIII's amazing. Everyone thinks it's shit. <laughs> it's like, I didn't say it's amazing. It's, it's definitely the worst Final Fantasy game. Um, oh, he's backtracking. No, I mean, I'm not backtracking. I still think it's, it's a good game. Goes home, a... takes all the Final Fantasy 13 posters <laughs> off the <his> wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I think it's a good game, but a bad Final Fantasy. It's what I'd, I'd call it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so agree to disagree. So. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what we'll do. <laughs> My number one is unsurprisingly Uncharted 4. Shocking. Um, a great end to a great series. Yeah. Uh, the reason that I, it's my number one is because um, of the relationship you build up with these characters over a course of however many games has been. Uh, four main games and obviously Golden Abyss on the Vita. Mm-hmm. Um, just great storytelling and great action, great set pieces. Um, everything's perfect in it. The shooting's great, traversal's great, moving around great, voice acting second to none in any game, apart from, you know, Firewatch would probably be a very close second. Yeah. Um, but it's... It's just, it's just a special game and it's a special series. There'll never be another series as good as Uncharted as for in that genre. Yeah. In that sort that. of action, um, third person action adventure game. There'll never be another Uncharted. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, The Last of Us is obviously superb, but I, I still think, I mean, people compare it to Uncharted and obviously there is comparisons there, but it's nowhere, it's, it's nowhere near the same. It's a different game. Yeah. Completely different. Completely different. Um, but yeah. It's the best action. Uh, I don't think it's the best one of the series. I still think two is the best in the series. Mm. Um, some people go with three, which I find interesting. Yeah, interesting. I think, yeah, I think it'd be tough for me. It'd be tough between two and four. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to play through it again. I've only played through it the one time. Um, and I do mean to go back and do it again. But, yeah. um, yeah, it's the best action adventure series of all time. And, uh, it was a fitting end to it as well. Yeah, it's a good ending. We like the ending on it. Yeah, actually. and I'm glad there's more coming. I'm glad there's the DLC coming. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, with that's Nadine and Chloe, I think that's going to be great. Uh, so more Uncharted is good with me, but yep. it's certainly uh, the best game of the year, uh, as in my personal opinion. Cool. I like it. I like we all had very different lists. In the we end. did have it's very good. different yeah. lists. Yeah. Um, got a couple of tweets to read out. Awesome. Um, I posed the question earlier on. What's your Favourite games of 2016 and why? And um, somebody tweeted me and put, this is uh, Simon B 79 on Twitter, put, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Uncharted 4. It's been a pretty poor year for gaming, Ooh. in my opinion. I, I, don't, know. I don't know about that. I respectfully it's disagree with him. Um, he <laughs> just put, mo- the re- his reasoning behind it was, um, you know, most of the games that he's enjoyed that have been released this year have been remasters, not brand new IPs or okay. brand yeah. new games. Yeah, but the Tomb Raider is another one I want to add to my, one of my mentions. I still need to play that. Great game. 
Yeah. Um, Visual DZE, who is going to be part of the Daydreamer Gaming crew, says yeah. surprise of the year was Watch Dogs 2. And Hitman was also great. It fit the episodic model perfectly. Yeah. Oh, which well, is perfectly exactly what, what I just said. said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good times. Um, thank you very much for listening to our Games of the Year podcast for yes. 2016. Thank you. You can find Gaming Mule on YouTube. Just search for Gaming Mule. And you can listen yeah. to a brand new episode of Muttering with Mule every Thursday. That's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, every Thursday. So I'm, I'm hoping... That's the format that I'm trying to go with. Anyway. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> you can also follow Gaming Mule on Twitter at the Gaming, Gaming Mule. Mule 88. Gaming Mule 88 and on Facebook, The Gaming Mule. Gaming Mule 88. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put in so. Gaming Mule, I'm pretty sure he's the only one. Yeah, yeah, you'll find me straight away if you just type in Gaming Mule, you'll find me. Okay. Good that. You can find us at youtube.com slash sunnyfinplay, twitch.tv slash sunnyfinplay, YouTube. No, Twitter <laughs> at SunnyFinPC, Facebook.com, SunnyFinPodcast. Um, please do subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, like us on SoundCloud, and any other podcast service that you may happen to use. Mm-hmm. This is the Sunny and Finn Show, and we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday. Every Friday. Across podcast services, everywhere, worldwide. Yes, we go to New Zealand. <laughs> and occasionally South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But for now, thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a great new year. We hope you had a brilliant Christmas. 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 <laughs> K-W-I-S-M-A-S. Christmas. 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 I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And I'm Mule. And we'll speak to you in the new year. Take care, guys. Goodbye. Thanks Bye. So much. Goodbye. Bye.